Assessment of Peripheral Intravenous Lines by Brianne Leary. Before using the IV, make sure that it is patent for either continuous or intermittent use. If the infusion is continuous, monitor the IV site frequently, at least every hour. Assess the site at the end of IV therapy. Once the IV is placed and deemed patent, place an occlusive dressing that allows for visualization of the site. Manually flush the IV catheter to check for patency, leaking, redness, blanching, and swelling. You should check the patient's IV site frequently for patency or signs and symptoms of complications. These complications can often include infiltration, phlebitis, dislodgement, leaking, or loss of patency. Signs and symptoms of infiltration include swelling and cooler temperature to touch around the IV site, blanching or white areas around the IV site, difficulty flushing, cessation of blood return with aspiration. However, it is important to note that this finding alone does not indicate that an IV no longer works. Again, you should always flush the IV to assess for patency and if it flushes easily without signs of leaking or blanching, it may still be usable and safe. Phlebitis is a little bit different. It is caused by medications or fluids that have been delivered to the patient intravenously that have caused inflammation to the vein. Indications that phlebitis has occurred include redness at the IV site, a red streak up the extremity along the vein, a hot feeling of the skin, or the vein may now feel like a hard cord underneath the patient's skin.